got a new video on today. We got a sponsor today. He's right here. He's telling us about you. Well, I'm the uh, I'm the owner of Clayton's Mobile Tire and Truck Repair. I'm uh, out of Joplin, Missouri. I work on semi trucks, tractors, cars, lawnmowers, pretty much anything you guys need me to do. The convenience of my business is I actually come to you to where uh, you don't have to load it up and bring it to me. So we were talking about we want to make a new video. Everybody says bow hunting is kind of expensive. So uh, we went to Walmart and got the cheapest bow we could get. And it's actually a Vortex Hunter. Uh, it's got 30, 30 inch draw length with about 65 pounds. So we're just gonna uh, see what we can do with it and uh, see if it's a good bow. All right, you draw lengths we can put in here. Every now and then. Yeah, those are the bow modules to adjust the So it has length. a special one, probably take this off. Yep. Well, if you cut. There's zip camera. Down here. Yeah. Zip down here. It's hard to tell on this side of the camera. I do like how it has a two piece quiver. Yeah. Comes so, off. Some people don't like the two piece quiver. I like two piece quivers, but that's the tradition. I like how it has the double cam. Double, yeah, it's, two, it's dual two, cam. Dual cam. Let's see if we can't get this. We put it on there wherever we want. So, so well, it does have a little manual so we'll have to check that out because i don't know what the draw lengths are we'll have to adjust the draw length on it so, so you guys said you're going to be giving this away once you hit how many subscribers 200 200 is going to be given away oh it's got a tight pull it's actually compact it? yeah subcompact very short. It's, it's stout. Oh, that almost looks perfect right there. It's, it's tight. So, right out of the gate, the only thing you're going to need is a knocking point because it does not come with a knocking point or a tie in loop, D loop, for release guys. So, obviously, the instinctive shooter gets to go first because nothing's set up. Three pins, two piece quiver, which I like two piece quivers. And man, this thing is short. Uh, but I, it has a good feel to it, so uh, I don't have a knocking point, but I'm just going to shoot my fingers. Let's see how this baby goes. It's got a... So, arrow's a little bit weak for this uh, ball, actually. Uh, arrow weak, so let's try another one. And again, I'm not using the sight because me and an instinctive shooter. Oh man, yeah, the arrows are a little weak. These are Walmart arrows. They don't say what spine they are, but uh, from the way this sucker's shooting, I think you're gonna need a 340, 400 spine arrow. And they're just, these are just normal Walmart, 100 grain tips, run of the mill arrows. What's the poundage on that? Come set it out of the box at 29, inch draw with a uh, 62 pound uh, draw weight. How's it feel when you pull it back? You know, I'm doing it bare fingers. Uh, I don't even have a finger tab or anything and I'm getting a little bit of finger pinch on the top one, but I'm not, it's not bad for a finger shooter. I could see me using this as like a bow fishing rig easily. And yeah, I mean, and if you adjust the sights, I come down here like this with an Olympic recurve. Yeah, I could see me. I could maybe see me using these sights. Fingers, I'm I'm kind of impressed with this little bow. All right, so now we're not even going to sight it in yet. We're just going to see, uh, kind of see if it's on in the package. What are the odds, huh? <laughs> Reminder, he still has no knocking point or D-loop. Let's not do that. Go ahead. So we have the Vortex here, Vortex Hunter by Barnett. And over here we got uh, Spencer's uh, PSC Stinger. PSC Stinger from uh, Bass Pro. Uh, I did pay it a little penny, more than what I gave for that one. Um, this one I have set up to a single cam action 
and then um, it shoots at 64 poundage, 316 feet per second. Um, with not Walmart arrows, I shoot the um, Ted Nugent gold tip arrows. So, and uh, we just want to put these side by side. You're looking at like, we got this for 140 clearance rack. And uh, this one's set up right now at 600. 600. So, uh, not to prove to you that this is going to be better than that one, but just to prove to you that you can get start hunting in archery with, you know, pennies on dollar. Like, I'm sure this sucker right here is going to be able to kill something. I mean, my recurve, it shoots faster than my recurve, so let's see what a release does. Them and see what a release does with the. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Those. Let's get a release going. Just a reminder, this is set up and tuned out. This is still pretty well bare bow. I'm gonna go ahead and just get back and set up at 10 yards. Okay, well that's fine. We got a set up bow here. Uh, there's yeah. a big difference. All right, first up, we're gonna go with the uh, the new Vortex Hunter. Shooting Walmart arrows with a release. The other way. Do not have a D-loop yet, so. Uh, be very careful. It does not have a whisker biscuit. It's a three prong. Uh, so we'll see how this does. All right. Okay. All right. Not bad. Well, well, that ain't that ain't good. So uh, archery from the get go. We got uh, the sight fell off. A reminder: you need to uh, tighten all the bolts. So. Uh, How'd that feel though? It felt comfortable. Uh, I'm, I'm used to my bow. I've shot my bow for a long time compared to um, something like this. I will say that um, if you really wanted me to compare it, I can hold my bow back pretty long um, for a, an extinctive amount of time. Um, when I'm up in a tree stand, I got a buck come in or I got something coming in, I, I need to pull back to make sure that I'm looking, to make sure I'm ready for when it comes out towards me. Uh, that one was a little harder to hold back. I think it's only a, uh, it's a 70% 60. let off. Oh, That's 70. Like an 80, so it's lower let off, which for me as a finger shooter, I like. But uh, I, I could tell if I was not, uh, if I was a release shooter, I might not want that. So let's go ahead and see what the stand right? Yeah, what we got going on here? All right, so luckily we have Clayton's mobile tire repair to give the sponsor of this video so we can have some Allen wrenches because uh, the smallest Allen wrench here will not adjust the sight individually. So we're, get mod for you. we're gonna have to get some smaller Allen wrenches, uh, which if you're gonna be an archer, you're gonna want a, a good set of Allen keys anyway, or Allen wrenches. See this should, right there, okay. So let's, do right there. Let's just leave this one out. Alright, so we're about 10 yards right now. We're going to try to side it in. Get it sided it in, see how far we can go. Let me see. This, the only thing that bothers me is the fact that the arrow moves. So from That's 10 yards ain't bad. So, Jordan, what's your final thoughts on this boat? Oh, it's not a. Uh, not a bad bow it's uh it was walmart special but i mean if you're a little youth or if you're somebody that don't have a lot of money that wants to get out there i mean that's something you can use yeah i would highly suggest this be like a youth starter bow and uh i would highly i mean i would recommend the bear hunter over this from a bow perspective but yeah, I could see this thing being a youth bow, or I, I actually think it would be good as a bow fishing rig if you put a bow or a reel on it. Yeah, uh, either or. You, uh, you just gotta, when, if you do get it, you do have to tune it in. You have to put a D loop on it, unless you want to shoot fingers. But uh, I mean, it comes adjustable, it comes 62 pounds in the box. That's pretty nice, 62. And so actually the way this sits right now, we could technically still hunt with this in Missouri, anything over 40 pounds. And it does move fast enough to kill stuff. 
don't use uh, don't use the Walmart cheapest arrows. Those don't shoot. Yeah, through. with good arrows, it actually was shooting okay. So other than that, I mean, it kind of is one of those. It is what it is. I mean, I do think this really, as a kid's first bow, I think this will do it. It kind of reminds me of my first bow that I actually killed deer with. Yeah, it's not. I didn't get much shooting it, but I mean. Uh, but I mean, yeah, I think it's a good, for $140, I don't think you can go wrong. No, I kind of right. think this is like the high point of the bow world right now. So explaining how we got this bow, uh, Clayton's Tire and Truck Repair called us and said they wanted to sponsor a video. And we told them that let's just buy a cheap Walmart bow and see if what we could do with it, maybe. And uh, they actually told us that we could give it away. So we are gonna get them away. How many subscribers? 200. 200 subscribers. So first 200 subscribers, we will uh, randomly choose one of you and we'll send it to you. And you can have the bow. It's not a bad bow. So uh, yeah, just thanks to Clayton's Tire Truck and Repair. They did fund the, uh, the money for the bow and uh, yeah, I mean, and, and it's this video would not be possible without Clayton Mobile Tire and Truck Repair. If you do break down in Southwest Missouri, call Clayton Mobile Tire Truck Repair. I'm pretty sure they drive. Well, we're down here by Carthage, and they go up to Spring or uh, Kansas City. Yeah, so, I mean, they go for the right person and the right. They go everywhere right. around, and they're out here supporting the outdoors and yeah. the heavy aero TV crew. And we always love when Spencer comes down and shoots a video with us. Yeah, yeah. So, you'll see him in the video. But yeah, so we are giving it away. So, so remember to like, share, subscribe this video because once we hit 200, we're going to be giving this bow away.